Obviously, it's going to be a great weekend for whatever last minute thing you want to fit in. You want to go snowboarding or cross country skiing or go sledding? It's the opportunity to do so. Nope. Because Looks like a good time to go camping. To get to Browns Hollow Camp, you need to go and turn off and go onto State Forest Road, and it goes down pretty steep into the valley. Just keep following that road, um, but when you get to the Park Coast, there will be a registration kiosk. All backcountry hiking backpack spots need to register here. Um, it's good to do that so that way the um, employees and stuff know how many people are actually using these sites and stuff. So after you get registered, just keep on going all the way through the entire park. Well, actually, it's not a park. State Forest. And then you turn on Donahue Road. Once you get on Donahue Road, this is a gravel road. And it starts to get a little bit shady and stuff. Once you get to this point here, there's a very, very steep dip. You will bottom your car out if you have a car. Trucks are probably preferred. And then you just keep on going down this little one-and-a-half lane um, gravel road. Pretty not maintained, so have fun with it. Uh, and then you get down to here, here's the parking lot. Yeah, in the parking lot, and you got a nice short half a mile uh, hike to Browns Hollow Camp. And once you get there, it's like it's, you'll see in the videos, it's a big flat open area surrounded on valleys on all sides. Welcome to today's episode of Outdoor Adventures with Shane. Um, we're up at Yellow River State Forest. We are going to be attending the 2023 Hot Tent Hoedown. Uh, just got loaded up, got in the goo with. Uh, we're gonna be at the Browns Hollow campsite. Never been to this one before, but it's a nice half a half a mile hike in. Uh, we just got another four inches of snow last night. So it'll be perfect folk sledding back in. So, on we go. Walking in a winter wonderland, hopefully for the last time this spring. Well, tent's all up. Waiting for our stove guy to get here that borrowed Sam's stove. Time for step two. Cheers. 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 Oh my God, that tastes so good. I have to send Rob on a beer run before he know it will be out. Yeah, I can send a message. <laughs> I don't want to use up all our dry Boy wood. Scout Sam starting the fire, or trying with all the wet wood in the camp ground. We need to start making the truck out.
say yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Ready? Yeah! Jeez. <laughs> Is that how you process wood, Sam? That's what it sounds like. That's how I process wood, boys. That sense is so strong. And they said it couldn't be done. So strong. Here's Ken's new hot tent. It's actually one for a hammock. Nope, I won't have it this one. But pretty cool. You can lay inside the hammock in the middle of the night, throw more wood in his little firebox. Pretty sweet little setup. And just like that, you probably can't see it, but it's starting to snow. It's supposed to get, we heard, two to four inches of snow tonight. So we've been getting a bunch of firewood all split and cut for the bonfire around the, the campsite tonight. Enough wood for our stoves. So we'll be all good to go, nice and snugly and warm. Getting the stoves are rolling. Too bad nobody's getting smoked as good as Rob. Damn. Cheech and Chong will be proud of that one. Well, we're getting everything all tore down, hot tents put away, stoves cooled off. Get everything strapped back on the pulk so we can make a little jaunt out of here. It's only half a mile. Nice short hike, flat. Uh, new little dusting of snow, maybe inch. Yeah. But that should make it go a little easier. So, see you back in the truck. All right, we're back at the parking lot, and that concludes 2023 hot tent hoedown. Yeah, we got the little Minnesota boys. We got their Jeep, and he got his little Subaru. Yeah, he's gonna turn around, and go back in. Trying to make the little cars look bad. You can tell they're city slickers, but hey, see you guys on the next one.